Developing news this afternoon from Afghanistan. The U.S. military dropped a massive 21,000-pound bomb on an ISIS tunnel overnight. CBS's Craig Boswell has more on the message the U.S. is sending the terrorist organization. The Trump administration is confirming it has dropped the so-called mother of all bombs for the first time in combat. The GBU-43 is a large, powerful, and accurately delivered weapon. The 11-ton bomb was dropped on ISIS forces in Nangar province in the eastern region of Afghanistan near the Pakistani border. We targeted a system of tunnels and caves that ISIS fighters used uh, to move around freely, making it easier for them to target U.S. military advisors and Afghan forces in the area. Pentagon sources tell CBS News the bombing mission has been in the works for months, and General John Nicholson, the commander of U.S. forces in Afghanistan, had to get permission to use the weapon. The United States took all precautions necessary to prevent civilian casualties and collateral damage as a result of the operation. This test video from 2003 shows the massive bomb being pushed out of the back of a cargo plane over Eglin Air Force Base in Florida. The bomb created a massive crater upon impact. The GBU-43 is officially called the Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, but because of the MOAB abbreviation and its massive size, it picked up the nickname Mother of All Bombs. It is now the largest non-nuclear weapon ever used in combat. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. And again, here's more information on that bomb the U.S. dropped on the ISIS tunnel in Afghanistan. As Craig just said, it's affectionately called the mother of all bombs because of its size. It weighs more than 21,000 pounds. The U.S. military created this weapon in 2003 during the start of the Iraq War. Well, new at four, North Korean's leader Kim Jong-un is sending a message to Americans. He made a rare public appearance today to open a new high-rise district in the country's capital he cut the ribbon on the new district, hoping to send the message that U.S. sanctions aren't working. Meanwhile, new satellite images suggest that North Korea is gearing up for another nuclear test. And President Trump has sent a Navy strike group to the waters off the North Korean. President Trump is sending a message of reassurance today concerning America's relationship with Russia. He tweeted today that things will work out fine between the U.S. and Russia. It's an update from yesterday, which said relations are at an all-time low. The biggest wedge in the relationship, Russia's continued support of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Today, Syria's president denied his government's behind the recent chemical weapons attack that killed more than 80 people. It's fabrication. We don't have arsenal. We're not going to use it. And you have many indications if you don't have proof because no one has concrete ev uh, information or evidences. A Kremlin spokesman says this week's meeting between President Putin and Secretary Tillerson was fairly constructive, and the two will keep communication open between Washington and Moscow. New at four, President Trump is making good on his campaign promise. Today, he signed a measure giving states permission to defund health care providers that offer abortions like Planned Parenthood. The bill passed the Senate last month after Vice President Pence cast his tie-breaking vote. The resolution does not impact Planned Parenthood funding on the federal level, but it overturns the rule that prohibited states from withholding money for political or religious reasons.